Right, so a little bit more Illuminati today. <laughs> a little bit more illuminated, um, more enlightened. A lot of people have a big hang up on Illuminati, um, not doing the most basic association. It simply means enlightened, so obviously it's a modern word that they didn't have back in the day, so those enlightened, no, they're not plotting to come and suck your blood, <laughs> nor to fuck your TV, nor to whatever. I laugh every time I see the conspiracies on the Illuminati. It just means enlightened. And just like now, um, the way everyone is seeking to wake the fuck up, um, so it's been since the beginning of time, but back then they were called witches or they called themselves illuminated enlightened that's all that means hence it sounds illuminati basic 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 anyway um so another thing that i've noticed we tend to do with money everything we do serves us and this is the alchemy um of uh, that I, that i'm basically talking about every day um absolutely if we look if we look at the right way of, at everything that we do at everything that's around us we realize everything is here to help us and to serve us nothing um nothing that we do to ourselves um is to harm us um, because our higher self is getting it done through our instinct to go against our mind that's why there is the inner war in many many people the mind the conditioned mind um, wants to follow some um, pre-programmed form and structure that some book said or some program said or someone said that they should follow and the instinct uh, says no so the instinct goes its own way um, and I don't know if I noticed how when I was younger a lot of the times I would come home happy and I would come home excited about something and someone in the house that was in authority over me at the time used to piss on my parade um, either with a scandal or according to their mood they used to ruin mine and what I noticed just recently that we do the same we continue like I said in other videos as well we continue to be the abu abuser we had um, and uh, so in order for us to advance to the lofty uh, asks that we have of the universe uh, for our future we need to observe and overcome these programs what do I mean buyer's remorse buyer's remorse so your instinct um, said go get that your money which also have their own consciousness desire to go get that whatever it it is you got you got elated you got excited you got fabulous um, this fabulous feeling and then you go to you go home or you go to wherever and someone pisses on your parade either um, you you feel you feel guilt um, either uh, something breaks down and you think oh fuck why did I spend that why did I do that if I didn't I would have it now or someone needs it or someone guilts you like yeah you're out having fun meanwhile me blah 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 this is another form of um, self-abuse by Buyer re buyer's remorse implies absolutely lack of absolute lack of um, reverence towards the f and, and comprehension that everything you were divinely guided that product whichever you're having remorse over wanted to be yours if it lit up the joy the the happiness that you got the excitement that you got um, 
that was you following your joy. And in the very well rehearsed program, you find buyer's remorse um, to guilt you into pissing on your own parade. So this is what I noticed that was a recurring thing, um, this sensation of... Uh, and even if I felt, for the moment, I felt worthy and I was like, yeah, 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 very good that I did and I was feeling very good and it was fantastic and so on, someone needed something uh, the next day or the next moment and immediately I went to the wrong of me. Now, in shaming me through buyer's remorse, which is, that's what it is, you're shaming you, you're shaming your instinct at the time, you're negating absolutely every bit of your guidance that um, gave you the joy. You basically followed your joy and now you're negating it because when you were fo following your joy earlier in your life, sorry, um... Probably many times you were you were brought down a notch to not get too excited and to not stay too happy because the misery around you wanted company. Um, you have to notice when you do the same to yourself. And I'm telling you, buyer's remorse, it's literally, here was money wanting the candy, wanting to go in its own way, to go for the product it wanted, and here you are shaming it. Here was your instinct guiding you to your joy, and boom, you now um, guilt it, you now um, bash it, you now criticize it, and so on. Now, when you follow your joy, with it would have been the ability and possibility for uh, huge, huge possibility of attraction would, had you continued to stay in the joy of your creation, of you following your instinct, of you following where the money wanted to go. Had you stayed in that, had you not pissed on your parade with guilt, with buyer's remorse and so on the resources you would have been, that energy would have drawn you to more resources. But by you denying, guilting, um, making the wrong of what you had chosen previously, you just shut the door to that which was going to come. So money does desire to make money and that which you sent out would have brought you more had you not ordered it to not by going into the wrongness of everything that you've done. So I go back to when you have buyer's remorse, you stop following your joy, you stop recognizing that that was your joy and you're going right back into the program and you're stopping the flow of your good. It's only by following your joy and staying there the the multiplication of those resources money would or whatever resource you 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 cashed out it would have come back hundredfold to you had you not just cursed it you cursed yourself you cursed your higher spirit you cursed your instinct you cursed your joy you cursed the desire that was in the money to go where it went because money has consciousness Energy calls energy, and if there was joy and desire and love for where it went, from there it would have multiplied. You would have gone in joy, but if you fall into the program on pissing on your own parade, just because that's your um, automatic go-to, you stop it, and that's the blasphemy of self, the blasphemy of your, good, of your good. But the secret of life truly is in non-stop following your joy and not getting to curse it. But staying in the joy and the absolute trust that the action that you took in whatever you invested in uh, for your joy, it was the best thing to do. So full faith in your instinct, full faith in money knew where it wanted to go and therefore by you letting it and setting it free, it will be 
happily coming back to play with you uh, again. But when you shame it, you blame it, you, you regret it, you put all this fault energy on it, why would it come back? 